welcome to this channel. If you clicked on this video, then that most likely means that you are either shy or introverted. I'm here to let you know that is great. I remember growing up, I would notice others being able to speak to anybody, being able to make people laugh, and it felt like they always knew the right thing to say. I would just observe and be like, wow, that's so awesome. I used to research and look up things like how to talk to anybody, gaining charisma, how to be more social, how to be more extroverted. It's like I was looking to be something different other than who I naturally am, shy and introverted. There is nothing wrong with having those qualities. I think it's awesome because that means you are more selective about who you are speaking to, who you let in. If you're like me, that means you don't need to go out, talk to hundreds of people over the span of multiple hours to be stimulated. I find enjoyment from being alone. I don't feel the need to be around other people constantly or at all, really. Just like how there's extroverted, social, and charismatic people in the world and we need those people for entertainment, for, I don't know, acting, movies, comedians. Maybe even the purpose of that is to be welcoming towards people who are more shy. Being an MC, a public speaker, a host, or just giving presentations. Not that a shyer person or an introverted person can't do these things, we definitely can. Those that are more social or outgoing tend to be more inclined or confident when it comes to playing these roles. In the past, when I've made presentations, others alongside me wouldn't have even known I was nervous unless I mentioned it to them because it came easy to them. They didn't feel any type of nerves going in front of an audience. Same with others who, if we had a rehearsal, they would be fine, they would have a good time. Come to the actual show date, they would bring their all, they would be so excited, so pumped and ready to give the audience a show. Just like the world benefits from those types of people, the world truly needs people that are more to themselves, that are shy, that are introvert. Imagine if you're in a room or in a classroom and there are, I don't know, let's say 30 students and they are all talking, all trying to get each other's attention all screaming, yelling, versus a room where half of those students are raising their hands or trying to tell a story or trying to speak up or are making jokes and the other half are listening or writing or to themselves in some type of way. Which classroom would you rather be in? <laughs> where there's a mix? of students or where everybody is the same. Being a person of fewer words means that when you do decide to speak up, those words will have either more power or be taken more serious or be remembered better versus somebody who speaks pretty often about various different topics. When your words are spoken, it will be known because you normally don't speak up. People will listen, they will pay attention, and they will remember 
what is being said by you. Words do have power, words do have meaning, and when you use them in a strategic way, words can go a very long way in your favor. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got what you needed to get from this message. Like, subscribe, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this topic and if you are an introverted or an extroverted person. I'll see you next week.